What's up, Tackle Warehouse fans? Jake here, bringing you this week's episode of What's New TW. You know, summer is right around the corner, about to be in full swing. The wakeboarders are getting back out there, but we know we're not going to let them keep us off the lake. We got some new boating accessories for you, some stuff from Costa, and we got some tackle. Hopefully, help you put a few more fish in the boat this season. So, the first one from X Zone Lures, we got this new Pro Series Original Slimer. I know it doesn't look new. The X Zone Slimer has been around forever. They've kind of changed it up a little bit with this new Pro Series Slimer. So this is a phenomenal drop shot bait. As you can see, that bait fish profile, uh, nose hook this thing and those ridges on there and that small uh, tapered tail design get, just gets a ton of quivering action and just looks just like a little goby or minnow, something down there along the bottom and smallmouth cannot resist them. Uh, these baits have been responsible for tons of tournament wins over the years, especially up in those northern lakes. I believe Takahiro has won a few tournaments on it, Brandon Polinick. Uh, just a lot of money's been won on these baits. So what they did with this new Pro Series, they've changed up their material a little bit. So it's a little bit tougher, so you're gonna get a few more fish per bait. And they've also packaged them in these trays. So they're not gonna be watered up in the bottom of the bag anymore. They're all gonna lay perfectly flat. And every single one of your baits is gonna be straight and not kinked or anything like that. And you're gonna have a great drop shot bait. Check out all the, you know, the new slammers we got from, from X-Zone Lures. Another thing we got here from Arsenal Fishing. So if you're looking for a Wacky Rig and Nico kit, they got you covered. So they got this new Wacky Nico kit and they've got everything you need for Wacky Rig and Nico rigging. So if you're just going to fish ponds, if you, you know, you're you a tournament fisherman, no matter what, this has got everything you need. So if you're looking to just get into it or if you just want to beef up your Wacky Rig and Wacky Rig Nico rig box, this has got all the supplies you need. So it's got this nice vinyl bag so you can hold all your plastics and stuff in there, but it comes with the, the pliers. It's got the silicone tubes for, for the rings. It's got uh, weights in there, some worms, everything you need. You know, you buy this pack, you can go straight to the lake, wacky rig, Nico rig, all day. They got everything you need in there. Just a cool kit from Arsenal Fishing. Next up from BMC. So we know that ledge fishing season's right, right around the corner and the, you know, the big flutter spoons is about to be, about to, that bite's about to be red hot. And we got these new hooks from BMC. These are the BMC tandem assist hooks. Now me, and a bunch of guys in the office are super stoked to use these on our rock cob jigs, but like I said, you know, those big flutter spoons, vertical jigging, things like that, these are where these are gonna shine. So just gonna get a little bit better hookup ratio and increase your landing ratios, specifically switching to these assist hooks versus a treble hook. So they, they're attached by, I believe it's a 200 pound braid, but these hooks in particular, if you've used uh, assist hooks like this in the past, we know that sometimes they have a problem with fouling up and turning over and catching the line and, and ruining your whole cast. These actually have a fluorocarbon core inside the braided line. So it keeps those hooks standing out and just keeps a little bit of rigidity in that line just to help the hooks not turn back around and, and foul up your, your spoon. Another cool thing they did on here is they have a unique bend. So when fish get hooked and they, they turn down into that bend, it, they're, it's gonna be really hard for them to shake those hooks. And they added a little tinsel on there, so just a little bit more attraction to all you know those big flutter spoons that everyone's gonna be throwing here real shortly. All right, we got another one from Zapu. So this is a really cool rig. So this is the Zapu RPZ Punch Shot system. Now it's called Punch Shot, but it's gonna be more for your about 12, 15 pound line and more sparse cover. So it's got it's got this swivel on here and this unique clip system. And what that's made to do is that small clip on the bottom, you're able to attach a casting style drop shot weight up to a half ounce is what they recommend. And then down here on the hook, it's got, it's actually rigged with a Ryugi standard offset EWG style hook. So like I said, it's about 12, 15 pound line is what I would use this with since it's not a heavy wire hook. So I wouldn't want to use it with braid or 20, 25, cause you probably have problems with bending that hook out. But if you've ever checked out Ryugi hooks, they are sticky sharp and they have that gray Teflon coating on there. So they're super slick, they're camouflage and you get phenomenal hook penetration. So right now, early time of the summer, when those grass lines start growing up, you want to fish those edges of grass or you want to fish around maybe some sparse tulies, cattails, around a little bit of brush, docks, things like that, where you don't need a whole flipping stick 25 pound or 65 pound braid this is going to be a great option a lot of people are throwing the the tokyo rig the chica rig jig rigs whatever you want to call it this is the same principles just giving you a little bit more options since it has that clip on there you can change out 
weight sizes really quick. You don't have to mess around with bending wire or anything like that. Just a cool little unique rig for you know fishing that grass and, and sparse cover and stuff like that. All right, from CalCoast, we got their new CalCoast Cali Clip hook keeper system. So if you've never used these, I have these on a bunch of rods. Rods where I've broken the keepers off or rods I have that don't have keepers. In the past, they've sold the keepers in a three pack, but it had three different sizes included in one pack. What they've done now is they're, they're selling them in three packs still, but now you can select what size you would like to buy. I've had the same problem in the past where I needed a specific size, but I get the two extras in the package and they just sit around on the, on the workbench for a while and never get put to use. Now you can get the size you need if you need a couple of them and you're not having to buy multiple packs just to get the one size that you need. So just a great hook keeper system if you've never used them. They actually have a hook slot and a line slot on them. So you can slide your drop shot weight on one side. It's got that nice slot for hooks. You can put treble hooks, you know, single hooks through there. It's a really good hook keeper system. They stay on your rods really well. Like I said, I've got them on a bunch of rods. It's a great keeper if you need one to add to your rod. All right, next up from Luz, we got the new Laser MG Speed Spool Casting Reel. So if you've ever checked out the Luz Laser MG, that reel's been around for a while, and it's just a phenomenal reel for 79 bucks. Well, they've updated that, and they're just giving you a few more features for the same price. So they've went to an all graphite frame and side plates, and they're putting their new super low profile uh, design in there as well. So it's more low profile than the last version, so it fits in your palm really nice. It's super lightweight. They've got a brass gear inside. They've got an aluminum spool, anodized red accents. And I believe they got an eight, eight bearing system inside here. So for 79 bucks, I've always thought that Luz has got the, the nicest reels out there for at under $100 price point. And now you're just getting even more features with that with the new Laser MG. So if you're looking for a reel for you to get your best bang for your buck, Laser MG is gonna be the way to go for sure. All right, from Upriver. So we got a whole bunch of stuff from Upriver. We're gonna highlight a few of them for you today. The first one, Upriver Rod Sleeves. So we got these in casting, spinning. We got them in magnum sizes too for the bigger, you know, longer rods as well. What's cool about their rod sleeves, it's made out of this anti-snag performance material. So you can see it's got some stretch to it, but what's really great about these rod sleeves is they slide over your guides and go on and off your rods really easy. They don't get caught up and snag like some of the other the, the woven style rod sleeves. So they slide down there easy and you don't, you're not hassling and fighting them, trying to get them all off and on when you're trying to get rods out of the rod locker and things like that. They also got the nice tether on there, stretchy. You can adjust it to any size, so these will fit a wide range of size rods. And that tether on there just keeps them locked down, locked to your reel handle. They're not gonna go anywhere. You don't have to worry about them sliding up. And if you're a co-angler, if you've ever had your rods on the side of the boat, we know those woven ones can just fly right off and they end up in the bottom of the lake. Now with those tethers, they're not gonna go anywhere. Another thing, a couple other things that we got from Upriver, we got the new uh, Humminbird Helix sonar covers, graphs covers. These are gonna be made for your graphs that are not flush mounted. So if you got them up on the front on a ram mount, even on the side on a ram mount, we know those plastic covers that usually come with graphs end up flying off somewhere on the highway. These are gonna stay snug, fit, and secure all the time. So the back of them completely wraps around the graph. They're made out of a you know nice three millimeter neoprene material, so super tough, and it's gonna protect your graph. You know, the, those graphs are not cheap. You wanna protect that investment. Also with the carrying handles, so if you have your graphs on ram mounts and you, you take them off at the end of the day, put them in your truck or your hotel if you're traveling or something like that, they got that nice carrying handle, so just make it a little bit easier to get those graphs in, you know, off and on and in and out of the vehicle or to your hotel or whatever. Um, also got the new bait bags. So this is a 14 inch model, the Javelin bait bags. We got them in 12 inch and 14 inch. You know, a lot of companies are making these bait bags now. Everyone's finally realizing that Ziploc bags get deteriorated and fall apart over time and these bags are the way to go. This is made out of a 20 gauge nylon material. So they're, they're super tough. These are heavy duty bags. They got heavy duty zippers. So they're gonna last you a long time. They're not gonna get torn apart when you're thrown around your boat and your backpack and things like that. Keep all your plastics in there or your, any type of tackle really. Just easier way to organize and just keep things nice and straight and not get torn up like cheap bags. Last thing we got from Upriver. So we got the new uh, motor cover. So as you see, big motor cover. This is made for a Mercury 250. So we're carrying these uh, for the Mercury 2018 and newer 200 to 250 size motors. So those new V8 Mercury's. Put that, you know, you get a nice boat, you got a brand new boat, motor cover, or you got a brand new boat motor. You want to put a cover on there that that neoprene material is going to help just 
um, protect the, that outside cowling from impacts, especially when you're driving down the highway. You never know when people are going to kick up rocks and things like that. That cover is going to keep that motor nice and protected, increase your resale value, and just you know protect protect your investments over time. All right, now we got a bunch of stuff from Costa. So first few things I'm going to go over, we got a few shirts. So we got the new Species Bass and the new Insignia Bass shirts. And I'm grabbing these at the same time just because they're both made out of recycled material. So it's 50% polyester and it's 50% recycled polyester. They're actually, using, they're actually recycling plastic bottles to make these shirts for 50% of it. Uh, they're actually super comfortable, super stretchy. They got that nice heathered feel to them and that tech material, you're gonna get moisture wicking performance, keep you dry all day, and then the um, protection from the sun. So we got a long sleeve model. A, I believe it's a UPF 50, so you don't have to wear sunscreen and things like that. This new, uh, this species bass got that frog, you know, bass frog logo on the back, it's super cool. And then on these Signia bass, we got this nice heathered red color, and then a big Costa logo on the back. If you just want a short sleeve, we got a short sleeve. And then we also got their new dot matrix camo long sleeve. So this is another, this is a microfiber polyester material. This one is actually really, really soft. Um, it's got the antimicrobial technology in there as well. So it's going to help eliminate some of the stink. Don't be smelling like fish all at the end of the day. Uh, the moisture wicking system in there. So just wicks moisture, pulls away from your body, keeps you dry and cool, comfortable all day. If you're looking for a new sun shirt, we got the dot matrix. And then another cool, just plain t-shirt, 100% cotton. We got the new Costa emblem shirt with big old bass Costa emblem on the back. And then last but not least, we got some new glasses. So if you're not familiar with Costa glasses, Costa Del Mar makes some of the best sunglasses on the market. So a couple of their more popular frames, we got the Spiro and then we got the Ferg. So what they've done with these is they've upsized these a little bit and now, the, now they're available in an XL frame. So there's not as many models available in an XL size frame. If you, if you have a big head and you need XL size frame glasses, just a few more options from Costa. But we have them in a bunch of different colors, uh, a bunch of different lens styles as well, different lens colors. You know, you got the uh, blue mirror, green mirror, uh, yellow lenses for low light conditions. So basically got all, you know, everything covered for the XLs. The last two, so these are a couple of their more, more popular models as well. So we have the new Fantail Pro, and new Blackfin Pro. So what they've done with these Pro models is these are only available with the 580G glass lenses, which is one of the best lenses ever made for fishing. And another cool thing that they've done with these Pro models is they've added in uh, these side protectors here, and they've got this new adjustable nose piece. So you can adjust this to any size face, and then it also allows a lot more airflow. So it reduces any kind of fogging that you get. Um, a couple other things, they got the small ports on the back there so you can put your, you can tie a line into there or put your uh, sunglasses retainers and you don't have to use those big foam sleeves that just kind of messes up the fit of the, uh, of the glasses itself. Also, they're using new hydrolyte material on the inside and it gets more tacky when it's wet. So these glasses, when you put them on and you're getting splashed around, especially on like an offshore boat, they're not going to slide off your face. So even when it gets wet, they, it increases the tackiness of the glasses. So the new Fantails and the Blackfin now available in Pro models. So if you need some new glasses, make sure you check out all the Costa sunglasses. All right, that's all we got for you today. Thanks for tuning into this week's episode of What's New at Tackle Warehouse. For more information or to purchase the product seen here today, make sure to click shop or the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this week's video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, let us know in the comments which one of these products you're most pumped about.